Well, thank you so much for doing this hangout with us. Um, I see that John is now joining us live. Perfect timing, John. <laughs> <laughs> Minor technical difficulties. It's okay. Phenomenal. Guys, so we're going to hang out this afternoon and uh, tell people a little bit more about your your region and and some of the exciting new recruitment projects that you have ahead of you. Sounds good? Sounds great. So before we start, I'm, I'm going to ask both of you some, some basic questions um, about you, of course. So Rachel, why don't we start with you? I'm going to ask you, please tell people your name. How long have you been a team member with Whole Foods? And how were you recruited to become a team member for Whole Foods? Yeah. Um, my name is Rachel Martin. Um, I have been with Whole Foods Market for five and a half years now. Um, I was actually working in a job um, that did a lot of uh, what Whole Foods Market does now, um, and they stopped doing those things. So I was in a point in my career where I was looking for something new, something fresh and exciting, um, but didn't really have anything around me. And then all of a sudden, um, Whole Foods Market building pops up out of nowhere in my area, and um, I attended the job fair and was hired on at the job fair, so I was actually a part of the store opening up at the Jacksonville store. So very oh, exciting. Phenomenal. You were hired on right on the spot when you went to the job fair? I was. I was actually hired on as a cashier, um, and I was looking for something more in the payroll benefits area, and uh, that position was already filled. So I said, I want to get my foot in the door, um, see what this Whole Foods market is all about, and uh, I said, I'll take a cashier position. And actually, within less than a week, um, that payroll benefits uh, position opened up, and I applied, and before the store opened, I was actually promoted into that role. So. It was uh, it was very interesting. That's awesome, John. Tell us your name. How long have you been with Whole Foods, and how were you recruited to become a, a team member? Uh, yeah, hi, I'm uh, John Stevenson. Uh, I'm one of the regional team member services generalists here in the Florida region. Uh, <clears throat> I've been with Whole Foods Market for about six and a half years. Uh, my previous career, um, I was uh, working in a, with a company that I wasn't really excited to be there. Uh, and one of the gentlemen that trained me, uh, his wife works for Whole Foods Market, uh, and he knew that uh, that was not where I wanted to be, uh, that that company we were in was not where I wanted to be. And he said, well, have you ever considered Whole Foods? Uh, and I said, no, uh, <laughs> never, never something that I'd considered. And he said, well, have you ever been in one? And I said, not really. Uh, so we went and visited one of our stores here in the Florida region, which was actually the Boca Raton store, uh, which is one of our, our larger stores here in Florida. Uh, showed me around, uh, introduced me to some of the team members there that he knew, uh, and I started doing my research and found that this was the, the type of company that I really wanted to be a part of. Uh, so I uh, waited, and the opportunity, uh, the position for a regional educator opened up uh, back in 2007. Uh, I jumped on that as... Training and development was always something that I was I was very passionate about, and um, I was fortunate enough to to be brought in as a regional educator. Phenomenal, thank you, John. Well, along those notes, Rachel, what what do you enjoy the most about about working here? Um, you know, I, I really enjoy the team members that I work with um, on a daily basis and uh, and in the stores, at the regional office and in the stores. Um, we have almost 4,500 team members now, um, so it's always really great to get into the stores and see those team members that I helped open the stores uh, with and um, the team members that I work with here at the regional office as well. Um, they've really become a part of my, my work family, and uh, I, I truly appreciate them. 4,500 across the region. Yes. That's a lot of people. A lot of people. Great, great. How about you, John? Uh, what is it I like about Whole Foods Market? Or like working what at Whole Foods? What do you enjoy the most about working at Whole Foods Market? Uh, that, again, it's, it's very similar to what Rachel said, uh, working with the team members every day. Uh, my, my role as a team member services generalist allows me to have contact with team leaders, with team members. Um, and you know, help them with you know the basics of payroll and benefits, but also beyond that with their career growth and and where they want to go uh, with Whole Foods Market. And uh, it's very exciting to get to to work with that on a day-to-day -day basis. And on a more personal note, 
uh, you know, it is a family organization. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of families that work here. Uh, you'll find brothers and sisters and uh, husbands and wives, and it's it's a good feeling when you know that. Um, this is a company that, that is out there to help take care of uh, people all the way around. Phenomenal. You guys didn't mention the food. You get to shop at the stores and uh, get the benefits of healthy eating through our phenomenal organic products? Well, absolutely. I mean, you know, the food, uh, that was a given. Uh, <laughs> and you know, we also have our specialty department with, you know, the beer, wine, coffee, cheese. That's good, too. <laughs> Great. Rachel, let's talk a little bit about your region. I, um, I, like, I love to learn more about you know, your, your specific region and you know, how many stores do you have and, and where I, are they located? Uh, we actually currently have uh, 20 stores in the Florida region. Uh, we also have three facilities. We have the Florida Bakehouse, um, the Florida Distribution Center, and then also the regional office um, here in Fort Lauderdale. Um, with those 20 stores, we have stores in Jacksonville and Tallahassee, um, kind of the north end of Florida, and then Orlando and the Tampa area, and then also um, down south. Um, we've got Miami, um, we have um, Biscayne Aventura area, Coral Gables. Um, we also have West Palm Beach and Boca Raton. So uh, we're spread uh, quite heavily across Florida. Um, so we're looking forward to filling in some of those holes and, and bringing some more locations in. So we're excited about the growth opportunity we have coming. Hey, invite me for the next recruiting fair. It sounds like awesome places to go and, you know, vacation actually. Uh, yeah, absolutely, especially with our next store opening. Well, let's, let's talk about that, John. What, what's coming up in the pipeline? What stores are, are going to be in your region and about how many of them? Uh, well, as Rachel said, we've got 20 right now, and we've got seven store, well, six brand new stores in development, uh, and one of our, our oldest stores in the region, our plantation store, uh, is getting ready to, to relocate to a new, uh, more modern facility, a little bit larger. Um, but the, the first one coming down the pipe is uh, our Clearwater store, so over on the west coast of Florida and the, the Tam just south of the Tampa Bay area. Um, and within the next month, uh, we're actually going to be posting all those jobs out there for uh, the public to apply to. Um, after, after the uh, Clearwater store, like I said, Davey, uh, we've got a downtown Miami store, uh, which will be right in the heart of uh, the business district in Miami. Uh, our Davey store, like I said, Plantations relocating to Davey. Uh, we've got uh, Altamont Springs, a uh, new, new store in Winter Park, uh, the north area of Winter Park, uh, West Palm Beach, and uh, Pompano Beach all coming up uh, hopefully within the next year and a half. John, when you talk about a new store opening, just give me an average of how many team members per store would you need to hire? Uh, obviously it all depends on the size of the store and the market, but uh, the last few stores have all been right in the neighborhood of about 200 team members. That, that we're looking to, to bring in to open that store. Wow, okay. We are going to be busy recruiting people <laughs> for the new stores. Um, yeah, very. <laughs> Rachel, you, you talk a little bit about the, the big houses and, and some other facilities, and, and I want to talk also about some of the regional uh, openings, like team members that work at the regional office. Can you talk to me a little bit about, you know, what are some of those roles and and how do people, you know, apply for those roles? Uh, meaning, do people have to work at the store first or just tell us a little bit about your office? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we actually have a brand new regional office here in the Florida region. Um, we just moved in about nine months ago. So it's a brand new facility for us. Um, it's a very exciting field of lots, lots of new technology and um, exciting things happening. Uh, with the growth that's coming to Florida, um, it's important for us to provide those support roles um, for our team members and the departments they work in. So um, every department has a, a leadership 
um, support here at the regional office. So the specialty team, the meat department, seafood department. But in addition to those departments, we also have our technology team that is in charge of, you know, our kind of our IT and um, computer systems and programming. Um, we also have the store development team, which is very important, um, getting those seven stores in development uh, up and running. Uh, we also have the marketing team. Um, our largest team here at the regional office is our team member services team, which um, John and I are both a part of. Um, we have HR generalists um, involved in that team member services group. Uh, we have risk and safety, um, and they're uh, instrumental in keeping our team members and customers safe. And we also have the education team um, that helps with team member training and development. Excellent. I think I'm going to point out uh, uh, something that's that's unique to Whole Foods and and some of the world-class companies that, that we know exist out there have, you know, a unique terminology for, you know, their roles and, and employees. So actually, we call our, our employees team members. That's, that's why you hear Rachel, Rachel and John refer as team members. And our managers, our executives are our team leaders, right? Right. And, and like... For instance, team mem member services is what is known out there in the in the world as human resources. Yes. Excellent. So, Rachel, what about the stores? Tell us about some of the unique opportunities at the at the store level. At the store level, um, it, there are opportunities as, as team members, um, just production team members or service team members, um, but there's also um, lots of room for growth uh, with obviously with the stores coming. Uh, we're really trying to develop and, and train team members who are interested in moving up to you know that next position. So whether it's a buyer position where you're in the specialty department and you're in charge of buying the wine or the beer or the coffee or the chocolate, um, you know, there's special specialist positions in each department. Um, we also have um, things like uh, yacht provisioners, where it is a team member's job to um, take special orders for yachts, and then they go down to the harbor and actually deliver uh, wow. the groceries to the yacht. So um, it's kind of a fun, exciting job. Um, we also have demo specialists in the store, where you actually get to demonstrate the food, um, whether you're actually cooking in front of customers or just um, passing out samples, um, which is always great and fun, interactive with the customers. Um, we also have graphic artists uh, in the stores, and they're actually in charge of making all the signs. Um, so, you know, we look for those kind of specialty positions where not all artists are looking at Whole Foods Market as, as their next job, but it really is a great opportunity for them to do something that they love um, in a great place. Yeah, no, good point. Some people would not associate Whole Foods with some of the the careers that are needed at at the store level. But um, we want the best and the brightest for you know for every specialty role that we have out there. And so, if if I'm a team member that has a role in 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 chocolate or or my specialty is coffee, do I need to come with with that skill set, or is there training provided to me? There's absolutely training provided. Um, it, you know, it's great if you have experience, but we have a lot of team members that um, you know start off at, at a team member level and work them work their way into those kinds of positions Perfect. with training and development. I'm ready to apply. I'm ready great. to do this. John, tell me, how do I apply? How do I actually apply for one of this? Fantastic roles. Well, it's it's actually very easy, and uh, if you'll give me one second, I'll walk you through it. Oh, great. Uh, so uh, you'll um, want to, the easiest way to go is actually to go to our Whole Foods Market webpage. Um, and oh, I'll see your screen, yeah. Good. Uh, and right at the top in that, that little black bar, there's um, a link that says Careers. Uh, you can click right on that careers page, and it'll load. And there's some answers, you know, some basic questions. You can follow us on Facebook. You can see what's coming up, uh, see even what's in your local area. Uh, and then you can, uh, there's, again, some more information about the company, some of uh, our accolades and awards over the last couple of years. 
Uh, but when you go to specifically look for a job, you click on find and apply for jobs. And then we are a, a truly international company, obviously, in the United States, Canada, and UK. Uh, but if you're looking for here in Florida, you click on United States, and it'll redirect us to the, the main career opportunities page. And you can search by region, um, or you could even search uh, down to the, the city level, you know, with stores, depending on where you're, you're looking. Uh, currently, we have 75 jobs posted in the Florida region. And you can scroll through and, and find the one that maybe is uh, is right for you. Uh, say you're looking in the uh, Aventura area, our Biscayne store, and you're, you've got a passion for wine and maybe a history of wine buying. Uh, you can click on that wine buyer or specialist position. Uh, it states all the, the basics of, of what's required, the essential job functions. It'll even tell you when it's closing. And to apply, it's as simple as clicking on apply. Uh, you'll then create a, um, a unique email, uh, a username and password, um, and, and go through the steps of, of actually uh, applying for the, the position. Uh, it's, it's very, um, very uh, straightforward. Uh, yeah, very straightforward. And every team member or potential team member, whether if you start let's say as a cashier or if you apply for one of your regional leadership offices has to go they have to go through this, this process right absolutely uh, there is no uh, just straight uh, promotions at Whole Foods Market like you might hear at uh, some other companies uh, to, to move up you, you have to apply and you and you'll go through the interview process uh, and the, the higher up you go or the, the more responsible the position you'll go through panel interviews uh, where a group of your potential peers uh, will actually interview you. Um, well, so let, yeah, so let's let's talk about that that process. Let's say I I apply for for the job, and what what happens next? Well, your your application will be uh, available to the uh, hiring team leader. Uh, they'll be able to access it through that system. Uh, they'll be re they'll review all those applications uh, and begin screening phone calls. Uh, so they, they should screen and, and ask some basic questions about, you know, who you are, why you're interested in Whole Foods Market, uh, and then potentially you'll move on to a face-to-face -face interview. Um, and again, depending on the level of the, the position, uh, it may just be the face-to-face -face interview with the team leader and then store leadership, or you could uh, have to, you'll do that face-to-face -face with the team leader, and then you'll do a full panel interview with potentially your team leader, uh, the associate team leader for the some team members from the department, and store leadership. Well, it sounds like uh, a longer selection process than you know many of the of the of the companies that are in in this space, right? Why why do you take you know so 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 many steps, including a panel interview, to hire a team member? Well, we want to we want to make sure we're getting the best team members possible, uh, and we make sure we want to get people uh, and team members that that want to work at Whole Foods Market and be a part of uh, who we are. Uh, it's a great company to work for. Um, we've we've been you know consistently on Fortune's top 100 companies to work for. Uh, so we get a lot of applicants, and we want to make sure that we're always getting the best possible candidates for the job. Yeah, I think as a candidate, you know, it says a lot when a company takes pride in their selection process and really, you know, they, they really want to hire the best qualified person and, and take, you know, a longer road up front. But once you're a part of the family, you know, it's um, it, it, it's, it's easier to, to trust the person and, and, and you know it's a, it's a good culture fit, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Once once you join the Whole Foods Market family, um, you know the opportunities are, are really almost limitless. So I'm I'm excited, and I got a call from Rachel, and she said, "Yes, we're gonna do an interview with you." How do I prepare for a Whole Foods Market interview? Well, um, you know, 
we want you to be yourself when you come to that interview. Uh, it's important for you to be who you are. Um, you know, maybe get on the internet and look up Whole Foods Market and maybe look at some of our uh, culture and core value pieces that you might be able to bring to the interview or that would be a good fit for you. Um, you know, and, and kind of think about what your career path would be. Um, you know, are you interested in just a part-time position for that 20% discount? That's okay too. Um, or are you looking for something that's going to be a career for you with Whole Foods Market, um, you know, moving up into leadership? Think about what you really want out of Whole Foods Market um, and then bring, bring that to the interview. Should I bring a suit or... What's not at all. Whole nope. Foods Market's a very casual company. We're not a suit and tie kind of kind of place. So you know, come come casual, come as you are. Hey, you you mentioned something very interesting. You get twenty percent discount if you're hired as a team member. Yeah, right away. That's awesome. Yeah. And tell me tell me more about like benefits. I know it's important for me as a candidate to know that you know. Aside from the from the compensation, you know, salary, the, the main package, there are some benefits, but just very high level, what what kind of benefits do you guys offer? Well, I mean everybody does start off with that twenty percent discount, which uh, is most people's favorite. Uh, and immediately we do have a four oh one K available. Um, and paid time off hours do start accruing uh, right away and they're based on the number of hours you work. Um, beyond that, after um, based on your your status with the company, whether you're a part-time 20 or a full-time team member, uh, more benefits do become available. Um, Health care, um, medical, dental, vision, uh, all those do become available as time goes on. Um, and the the longer you stay with Whole Foods Market, potentially the lower uh, the cost of your overall benefits is. Great, John. Now coming from from the source, I want to misspell some rumors, right? I've heard that once I'm hired, there's this process where I'm going to be uh, tested for for some time. Is that true? That people get to vote after some time, and and then then finally they get to decide that I'm that I'm a good fit for that team. Uh, well, it's 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 kind of like that. Uh, you are hired in uh, in uh, what we call a new member status, um, mm -hmm. and that is your 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 probationary period where you're learning, uh, you're learning your job, uh, you're learning the functions of the team and what it means to be a team member at Whole Foods Market. Um, and there are certain criteria. So long as you're you know you you show up to work on time and and you're not um, excessive absences, you don't miss any meetings, uh, and you complete your training requirements. Um, after about 45 to 60 days, you'll you'll be put up for what we call a team member vote, um, and that's a uh, an opportunity for your team to say that yes, we, we welcome this team member uh, onto our team at Whole Foods Market because uh, they've they've you know they started off uh, brand new, not knowing necessarily a lot, but they've learned, they've contributed, and and they very much want to be here, so we welcome them in. Great. So it's more like a celebration of the person's talent, and you help people from day one to. I mean, I'm sure you'll you'll tell people. You know, maybe some things are not quite right in in in, in case you know you you have doubts of of the person's performance, right? But the goal is to take everybody through through a successful voting process, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So tell us a, a little more, Rachel, about what do you guys look for on, on an ideal candidate? What makes a, a, a great team member at Whole Foods? Oh, I think we we lost Rachel, or, or she's, she's frozen. John. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> Uh, well, the, what we look for in a, in a great candidate at Whole Foods Market is someone that, um, first of all, has a great attitude, uh, that's a positive person that wants to be a part of Whole Foods Market. Uh, we want somebody that's, that's driven, that has a passion for, um, for, for what Whole Foods Market stands for and who we are. Um, and, you know, the, the beauty of it is, is there are team members that, that started with Whole Foods Market that... Um, that were hard workers, great attitude, and all they wanted was a job. 
Um, they knew they needed a job. They heard Whole Foods was a good place to work, and, and that's what they wanted. Um, and now, three, four, five, six years later, um, those team members have gone from being, uh, you know, an entry-level position to, to being team leaders uh, because they found that there was something more about Whole Foods Market. So we want those people that um, that want to be a part of what Whole Foods Market stands for. And like I said, the, the passion, the drive, uh, and the energy. Great. John, and do, do I have to have a background in, in retail to, to qualify for a job at Whole Foods Market? Absolutely not. Um, you, we, we have uh, team members from all walks of life uh, that work at Whole Foods Market. Some, some started in retail, some started in food service, uh, and you know, some, uh, like myself, came out of the military. Uh, so it's, there, there's no requirement for, for what your background has to be. John, this has been great. It's been very informative, and I think we, we have Rachel back online. We have frozen Rachel. And <laughs> Sorry. Anything, no, anything that you can share with, with the audience in terms of what you look for on, on the ideal candidate? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, we look for someone who is, uh, is passionate, whether they're passionate about food or passionate about their community and wanting to bring that into the workplace. Um, but we also look for people with good attitudes. Um, it's important for someone to be uh, positive and energetic um, for Whole Foods Market. Um, you know, we can teach you skills and uh, train you on the actual job. But if you have those, those basics, you're a hard worker um, and you're a positive, energetic person, then you're going to be a good fit for Whole Foods Market. Great. Guys, I think we're almost out of time. and. I think we should keep doing, you know, these sessions. You know, we'll we'll take some questions for for the audience. But um, thank you for for being available. You you're a great resource. It's it's a pleasure to work with you. And um, I I want to help you uh, be successful in the staffing all of the stores that you have on on your pipeline. And I don't know. It, it it's just great to. To have the sessions from from the source and, and people who are actually you know doing the hiring and 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 helping these candidates go through through the process. Absolutely, we look forward to to doing them as well. So we want people to apply and keep their eyes open for the upcoming stores in the Florida region. Yes, absolutely. We look forward to uh, hearing from people um, and, and answering questions and helping them uh, get some great jobs with Whole Foods Market. John, who do you have in the background there? Who's your basketball team? Oh, that's uh, that's the the current world champion Miami Heat, who are you know on their way back for the uh, their, hopefully their third round in the playoffs. <laughs> Phenomenal, excellent, guys. Thank you so much. Happy Friday and happy Memorial Day weekend. Thanks. You too, Andres. Okay. See you in the next one. All right. Bye. Okay, bye, -bye.